What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. Now, last time we left off, we heckin' did a raid over at a village, barely survived, our armor barely survived, some of our armor even broke. Like our helmet over here, we even have the hero of the village thing going on right now, it's kinda crazy. Our shield which on breaking one is already half broken, so it would have broken if it didn't have that enchantment. We've got a lectern where there's like one, we have two totems of undying there. That's amazing haul we got from that uh, raid. That's like the main reason why we did that raid is to get those totems of undying. But unfortunately, it looks like only like one villager actually survived the raid. So I don't think we could do any like villager breeding to get those numbers back up when there's only one villager, right? So we need to get more of them. But what I was thinking about doing was heading back to the village and making a portal over there and just kind of keeping the villager over there in the village rather than like kidnapping him and bring Oh God, there's a blade all the way over there. Rather than kidnapping him and bringing him all the way back here. Wait in the world? Oh God, there's guys were like behind me this whole time. I didn't see him. There you go. And there's a blaze behind me too. I'm going to go through the portal because those guys, oh my God, I'm going to get heckin' killed. All right, let's eat some food. <laughs> yeah, they're going to go through the portal and become like what? Like zombified villagers on the other side or something like that? I don't know. Or, uh, <laughs> zombified villagers. Zombified uh, pigment or something like that. I forget. Uh, Zoglins, something like that. Man, how am I not getting that blaze? Am I getting them with this? Man, yeah, he's just way too far away to get them with the bow and arrow. Yeah, forget about that. He's light my own. I can place on fire. Well, we are in the nether. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. But yeah, let me go get some uh, some obsidian. That's not it. That's literally nothing but quartz. Uh, do we have any obsidian? Yeah, we have some spare obsidian over here, so we can get some. I think, what was it, 10 is the minimum to get a, uh, another portal, so we could do that. We've got plenty of flint and steel over here I could use, so let's grab whatever already has some usage. So there we go. Now let's go build the portal in the... Oh, and I guess we could make... What level? We're level 20 right now. I guess we could make another diamond helmet just kind of as a replacement for right now, you know? Just so we're not wearing actually nothing right now. And of course, here in the future, if we get enough ancient debris and, of course, netherite, we can combine that together with the, uh... With that to make it a netherite uh, helmet, but for right, oh, we need to get uh, there. You go, some lapis. For right now, let's see what enchantments we can get. Protection two, not bad. I'm breaking three. I like that. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just wait. I don't know. Cause that's level thirty. We might. I don't know. It's going to take a little while to get up to level thirty from level twenty though. Like if I was at like level twenty-seven or something like that, yeah, I'd probably wait. But ah oh, man. I'll probably just get the protection too for right now. That, that, that's going to be fine, I guess. Nothing too crazy. Boom. Okay, yeah, we just got protection too right there. Not not too bad, I suppose. So, hey, it's better than nothing, I guess, right? Uh, which there you go. All right, protection three, fire protection three, protection four. I'm breaking three. Yeah, the other armor's obviously better, right? But oh, do I have everything? Uh, I think that's fine. Yeah, we got the leg turn. Oh, let's go get. Some, do we have any emeralds? I don't know if we have any. Yeah, we have some emeralds right there. Okay, so that way we can trade with the villager and see if we get the mending or not. Uh, we're basically just going to be placing down the because we got rid of its brewing stand. I think that guy was a. Uh, okay, we're back. Oh, I might have to turn it to daytime. Go to bed real quick. But I think that guy was a uh, a cleric or something like that earlier. So we got rid of his brewing stand, so he shouldn't be a cleric anymore. You know, just wait until he turns into like a, a jobless villager. And then we'll place down the lectern, and then see whether or not he gives us the mending and or, uh, enchantment book, whatever it's called. And then if he doesn't, we just get rid of the lectern, make him jobless again, and just keep on repeating that until he actually gives us the, uh, the mending book. And I don't know how many times we're going to have to do that, but let's just go over there. Let's go build another portal. That way we could easily travel over there from our main nether base. Because remember, I think it's one. Oh, God, one block in the nether is like eight blocks on the surface or something like that. So we could fast travel in the nether. That's what we did to get over here, right? <laughs> so let's just go over to the village real quick. We have the hero of the village thing going on right now. So we should have cheaper prices trading with these villagers. I think we have to go this way. Oh, there may be because we saw villagers on the mountain. I wonder if there are any straggler villagers like out here randomly, like just on the mountain and stuff that might have survived just because they were randomly like extremely far away from the, re the rest of the village. But so many times we've seen the raid or the pillagers spawn on this mountain, though. So I doubt if any villagers came up here, they probably got getting killed like immediately. So, yeah, I don't know. It might be worth it to kill. Oh, wait. Ah, I thought I saw something right there. Yeah, we're seeing quite a lot of farm animals around here. Cows, chickens, pigs, sheep. We're seeing, like, actually all farm animals around here. It's crazy. Yeah, I should definitely grant... Uh, God, not grind them up. <laughs> Wrangle them up. And try and uh, start a, a ranch over here. Yep. And try and get, uh, you know, a lot of cows, 
chickens, sheep, pigs, all that kind of stuff. Just kind of wrangle them up. Oh, I wonder if any of them are like stuck in. Oh, yeah, and we have horses over here too. I wonder if any of them are like stuck in the caves and stuff like that. But I do want to do another final inspection. I'm not seeing anyone here. I'm kind of thinking there might be someone here. Just because I saw. Uh, yeah, there's no one that could fit up there. Just because I saw a few of those pillagers just kind of around that building. Uh, but unfortunately, I think they actually might all be dead. Except for the one that we kind of like boarded up inside of his home. <laughs> just to kind of prevent him from uh, from getting hurt and stuff. Unless any are like roaming around right now. Oh yeah, weren't there? Yeah, there are emeralds in there. Hey, I'll grab those. Don't mind if I do. Grab that stale bread. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Alright, let's go find where this guy is. Let's go see if he's jobless now. Yeah, there he is right there. He's still boarded up. <laughs> let's go see. Anything? Any? Oh! Yep, I, that's the only huh and huh that I'm hearing right now, so he may very well be the last of the villagers. Here in this village, specifically, at least. We can't always try and find another village. Maybe kind of like rank. Oh, nice. We have a cartographer village over here. But we, we could. Oh, yeah, might want to get rid. Hold on. How? That's relatively close to his house. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of the cartography table. I'm like, he might he might have turned into a cartographer because of how close he is to the. Oh, God, where'd my horse go? I go, oh, there he is. Yeah, his, his yellow, or uh, his gold horse armor definitely makes him blend in hardcore. It's kind of crazy. What? Oh, oh, he ran into the. Wait, what? What did that happen again? Does the game think I. Yeah, the game thought I was on a horse again when I was like dismounted. That was kind of crazy. I guess it happens whenever you're like walk over one block of water. But I just hit shift right there and kind of fixed it. So that's good. I didn't have to leave my game and come back. Is he jobless? I, I don't know. He might be a cleric. He might be, or, uh, well, he might still be a cleric. He might have not in, uh, he's jobless. Okay, he's jobless. You know what? Uh, let's, uh, I don't want him to get out of here. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm just going to, boop, there you go. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, I'm going to put this right here. This is, this is your lectern. Boom. Oh, God, he turned into a villager, like, fast. Multi-shot. Okay. Well, that sucks. So, let's get a... So is he going to turn into a jobless villager, like, immediately, or what? Oh, man! I thought back in, like, 1.14 or whatever. Unbreaking- Whoa, that's actually pretty fucking good, you guys. Holy heck. So 12... Unbreaking 3. At 12 uh, emeralds, one book. And I can get one emerald from 17 paper. You guys. We have so many, like, sugarcane at our other base. It, it sucks, because I have to go all the way back to the other base. To get all that sugar cane, but we have our we have our ender chest. We could use that to help get our sugar cane. If we trade with a librarian so many times, we might get a bunch of emeralds and get like the umbrella. Oh, he just gave me a book right there, randomly, like two books. Wait, no, that's this just one. Why did he give me a book right there? Wait. Oh, whoops! I did not mean to do that. He just gave me a book randomly. Is that like a free sample? I think he gave me a free sample there, you guys. But that I'm breaking three. I like the sounds of that. If we apply that to our protection too, that would make it much, much better. Even though it is protection too, it could be better and all that kind of jazz, you know. I think. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You stay in there. You stay in there. I like his current enchantment. I like his current enchantment. You're staying in the. I, I might as well make that an iron door. Uh, what did I do back in Jurassic World? Yeah, I made uh, fence gates or something like that. Yeah, I guess we could do fence gates. They can't open fence gates. They can't open iron doors unless there's a pressure plate. I guess we could do that, but. Yeah, I'm going to have to pause the recording, head back to the main base. Oh, it looked like a tornado right there for a moment. Man, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> what if the wreck? I'm like, there are tornadoes in Minecraft if you add mods, but... Man, that looked, that looked like one right there. It's crazy how realistic these mods... Yeah, let me look at these other, uh... Like, right here. Is there anyone in here? Uh, another cartographer thing right here, though. Empty map and some paper right there, yeah. Let me just go... Let me just go back to the original base. Go grab a bunch of the sugar cane. Go grab, like, all the sugar cane. Maybe we can, because there's a lot of water around here. We can probably build another sugar cane farm around here. We have two buckets. We can get, we can build a sugar cane farm like right now. We can make an infinite water pool with those two buckets. No problemo. Not seeing any uh, straggler villagers around here, unfortunately. But yeah, I guess that guy's like the last of the villagers. So we're going to have to go probably pretty I can far away to try and find another village. That hopefully has more villagers. Oh god, what happened to my horse right there? We're probably going to go to another village that has, you know, actual villagers. Kidnap them, or just make that arm. Oh, I forgot to build the, uh, the nether portal. Uh, yeah, we still have the, uh, there you go. I got, I got so distracted. Yeah, this is going to save us a little bit of time. You know, it, just have to find out where this portal lands in the nether in relation to, you know, the nether fortress and all that kind of jazz. No, hopefully nothing too crazy. Now, where are we going to build this, though? I'm, I'm probably going to build it, like, in the middle of the, uh... 
Let's see. Like right behind the stable or whatever that is right here. I guess I can build it like right here. This is fine. Yeah, this is good. Like right here. And I guess if I'm going to be going to the nether, I'm going to leave my horse here in the, uh, oh god. In the, uh, in the village. So, there we go. Uh, whoops, almost just lit you on fire. Almost just instinctually went down to the last item slot to get my, uh, leads. There you go. <laughs> Let's build the, uh, the nether portal real quick. Let's get some, uh, there you go. Get some cobble blocks we could use to, uh, to build the corners. So let's do that. So there's that villager. I guess we could do it, like, right here. Eh, you know what? Should I do it, like, like right next to his second hat? I don't know. Maybe I should do it, like, right here, actually. Maybe, like, right here, because there's there should be, like, a house here, it looks like there might be. But there isn't anything here. So there you go. Just kind of clean it out a little bit, and then we can dig. Oh. Uh, ah, you know what? Let's do it this way a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. that. That's good. That's good. So let's do this. Boom, boom. I'm gonna get the dirt back and place that down. Because I didn't know where I was gonna place it, so... Boom, 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 boom. And let's do the corners with the dirt. Can I do the corners with the dirt? I'm gonna have to do this. There you go. And... There you go. Alright, let's light it up. Boom. Let's see where this takes us in the nether. Hopefully not too far away from our uh, nether base. Oh, whoops. <laughs> At least I can pick up my arrows again. But hopefully not too far away from our nether base. But remember, eight blocks in the overworld is like one block in the nether. So we're probably not too far away, honestly. What? That? Wait, hold on. Well, how? Where is it going to take us now? Wait, what? Oh, that sucks. Are we like in the same chunk or something like that? Uh... Hold on, if I go through this again, is this going to spawn like another portal, or is this going to take me to my nether base portal? Yep, there we go, that's my nether base right there. I guess if I want to have a fast way to get home, then hey, there you go. I, I, there isn't a fast way to the nether, or to the village though. That's kind of what I, I guess if anything, maybe I could break this nether portal? Uh, I don't know, I, I probably figure something out, but... Man, now I don't have a horse. <laughs> Do I have any saddles? I thought I had saddles from killing all those, uh... Well, I might have put them up in, like, chests or something like that over here. I guess I could tame another, like, a secondary horse, I suppose. I just... Let's just kind of leave one here always, just in case I leave my horse at the other village and all the guys that. We always have a horse around I could ride, but... That kind of sucks. I thought we had a little bit of a, a plan, a little bit of an idea right there we could do, but thankfully we have a lot of saddles over here from those Ravagers. You guys, thank you very much for reminding me they're called Ravagers. Uh, oh yeah, I might as well clean out my inventory in general, just because I have a lot of trash. I might as well get a lot of inventory space for the upcoming... Yeah, we have a lot of almond spanners. I'll put that up right now. Uh, for the upcoming, like, sugarcane that I'm going to be, like, a big haul of sugarcane I'm going to be getting here, you guys, so. Oh, do we have it? Yeah, we have more gold horse armor right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, let me just go tame another horse real quick, probably off camera. Uh, go back to the main, to, to the old village, to, or, yeah, to the old base. Go grab all the sugarcane over there. I think my, uh, my ender chest is already empty, so I don't think I have to worry about that, all right? And then I guess we'll make a bunch of paper to trade with that one guy, get a bunch of emeralds. Try and buy that unbreaking three, and then I guess continue placing down the lectern, breaking it until he actually gives us the mending enchantment. Because, like, right off the bat, he gave us that unbreaking three. That's a really good high tier enchantment. I assume we don't even have to trade with him in general to get that, uh, to get the possibility to get that mending. So, let me just pause the recording, get some uh, progress done real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. I think this would be a pretty good horse right here. It's got two extra hearts on top of its uh, row of hearts right there. That seems fine. I'm like, I'm not going to be greedy and be like, oh, it has to have four hearts like the old one. This is, this is good. Hopefully it's pretty fast, just like the old one, but uh, I think she likes me. Well, never mind. She kicked me off right there. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me continue trying to tame this horse. I guess we're going to have a, uh, what do we have? It was like a gray or a black horse. Now we're going to have a gray with like white spot horse. That's pretty cool. A little bit of variety over here. Oh. Oh, I got her tamed right there. I didn't realize it. I guess she didn't kick me off in a little while, but hey, there we go. Yeah, a little bit slower than the other one, honestly, but hey, it's still a horse. It's, it's a lot faster than going around on foot, right? So let me just go get a bunch of heck and sugar game from our old base real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I am back. Oh, what in the world? The hero of the village thing only lasts... It's only going on for another, like, 11 minutes right now. Well, that sucks. I just now noticed that, but, yeah, I came over here to the, uh, to the ender chest to grab all the, the sugar cane that I stored in there, and I took all the stuff out of my inventory that I didn't really think I needed, so I have all the sugar cane. Oh, man, it's probably not that. You know what? I'm going to keep one stack here. Oh, man, I actually have multiple stacks here already. Holy heck. I guess we'll just go anyways. 
<laughs> but I, I wanted to keep a stack here just because I wanted to make a, a farm here because I, I do have those buckets still, so I, I could make a farm if I wanted to, but let's just head on over to that village. Let's go trade with that one guy and try and get it on breaking three. And I don't know if I should trade multiple with him because what do we need? We need emeralds. We need a book. He already gave us a book. I guess if I, if I need to make a book, I can just kill a cow out there or something. I guess I'm fine in that regard. Either way, let's get on our horse. Yeah, this one's a little bit slower. Does it jump higher? It might. Oh, God. <laughs> it might jump higher. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, is there a way? Oh, God, that's a hole. Actually, that's probably a good place to test it out a little bit. There's two blocks. Is that two or three blocks? I don't know. Let's try and jump out of this hole. Okay, this is two blocks right here. Yeah, we, we can jump over two blocks, no problemo. But I want to test three blocks. Is this guy, like, like slow speed, but, f like, really high jump or something like that? I really want to test that out. So here's a two block again. It seems like it's maybe two and a half blocks tall jump. Maybe if there's, like, a half slab there, we could jump over it. But it seems like, yeah, he has very similar jump to the other one. Which kind of sucks, because the other one's like a lot slower up. God, a lot faster, but he has, he has two more hearts. And he jumps the same, and this one has two less hearts. He's slower. But still faster than walking, right? But whatever, not that big of a deal. Anyways, let's head on over to the village real quick, and let's go trade with that one villager guy. And let's go see if we can get ourselves... I don't know how many of those unbreaking threes I should try and get. I'm definitely going to get at least one. Maybe I'll get two, just so I, I have a backup. And you know what? If I get two, I can combine it together and get on breaking four? Is there on breaking four? I don't remember. I, th I keep forgetting if I'm breaking three maxes, or I'm breaking maxes out at three or what. Hmm. I wonder what happened if I move the portal, like, slightly, like, away, I guess. I don't know which direction, but, like, still close to the village, but far enough away to where it'd, like, spawn in another nether portal in the nether, maybe? I guess I, I, I definitely either that or I'll have to make another portal in the nether and see where it spawns over here and try and like figure out okay this uh, which way is which hold on let's figure out because that portal was which way is it say I'm facing I don't know where it says that on this at least uh towards positive Z okay facing south so I need to head north in the nether and I could take the XYZ of this and the XYZ of that, figure out how many blocks north this is, and then divide that by like eight, and then move that many blocks in the nether and then build another portal and see where that spawns another portal over here. I guess we could do that and see what happens, see if that would fix this little problem here, but whatever. I guess uh, then maybe we could do that a little bit later. But for right now, now yeah, we already have a horse over there. Uh, we're gonna, oh yeah, we have a, uh, there's like a stable like already pre-built over here. I might as well use it, right? Let's go over here. Let's go put this horse over here. There's already hay over here. So, hey, there you go. Is that a fence gate? It is a fence gate. Yeah, this is perfect for the horse. I don't know why I didn't put the other one over there. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go trade with this one guy. You know what? Uh, speaking of fence gates, is there like a spare fence gate around here I could use? Because I definitely want to go with, like trade with that guy, but I don't want him to like escape out of there. <laughs> you know, look at that. There's like another like another portal like purple going through. It's like the sun is going through the nether portal and shining and like making it purple. A little bit of detail right there. It's really crazy. Yeah, I guess I cut down, like, a little bit of acacia here to get a little bit of planks. And, uh, oh, yeah, my inventory's actually full. <laughs> I can't do that yet, huh? There you go. Get a little bit of occasion. Let's go, hopefully, go craft this real quick and then go grab that literal stack of sugar cane. Nothing in there I could use, man! Is there a workbench over here? There is not. There's just a chest. Why does no one have a workbench? This is, these people have jobs, right? They should have a workbench for the... The horse escaped? Oh, he probably, t he probably hopped on top of the, uh, whatever you call it, right? Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's do this, get ourselves some sticks. There you go, I forget if it's sticks on the inside or sticks on the outside for the uh, for the fence gate, I probably got it wrong. Hey, I got it right right there. Hey, don't mind if I do, there you go. All right, Horsey, you're going back inside of here and I'm gonna get rid of that, that block of hay to make sure you don't uh, escape out of it. What in the world, he glitched. Wait, what, the hay glitched too? Oh, this is some extremely weird single player lag going on right now, you guys, I don't know what's going on. He's actually stuck in the ground. <laughs> oh, can I get on him? Hold on. Uh, I don't want to accidentally hit him there. Oh! I accidentally hit him right there, though. I'm trying to get rid of the grass, because I, I feel like the grass might be, like, glitching him. Alright, I might have to, like, go to bed, leave my game, come back, something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's grab the stack of sugar cane. What? Uh, oh yeah, we have the fence gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. So let's do this. Oh. Well, I guess this is going on now. What is happening? Uh. Okay, I'm going to have to leave my game and come back. I don't know what's going on right now. This is so weird. 
Alright guys, I'm back. Oh man, yeah, I guess, yeah, I did that thing again where it thought I was riding on the horse, but I wasn't. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Very strange stuff. Alright, let's go back over here. Let's go redo what everything, everything we just did in the last, like, 15 seconds. <laughs> Break this. There we go, that works. And he's, in, yeah, he's in bed. I don't have to worry about him escaping right now, though, so. Perfect time to put a fence gate right here. Boom. Alright, nice. I hope they didn't, uh, learn how to use fence gates ever since I, uh, there you go, grab that. Wait, what, why is that only 56? Oh. Oh, I thought I saw a creeper right there. All right, let's just go to bed real quick, turn into daytime. Boom. Oh, wait, what in the world? Does this guy have crops growing in his house? Or, like, as a part of his house? Hold on. He does. What in the world? I guess that's one way to check up on your crops in the middle of the night. Just literally just turn your head while you're sleeping, and then boom. <laughs> There's your wheat. Oh, what? He escaped? Wait, oh, is that another one? No, it's the same way. How did he get out of here? He must have got out of his bed and, like, spot. Hold on, hold on. I've got, uh, I've got stuff. I've got stuff. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to trap you. I need to make sure you don't get killed. Uh, let's get- Oh, what happened to my book? I lost my book. Oh, well, we could probably make another book. It's not that big of a deal. Man, uh, give me another book free of charge. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to like, make that. I'm going to, oh, oh, gee, oh, look at that. He listened to me. Hey, thank you very much. There you go. All right, let's, let's do this. Uh, God, give me the emerald. One book. Unbreaking three. So there we go. So I think I could, as long as he's still novice level, I think he's fine. As long as he's not like, uh, cause like right there, I, I guess it's like silver or something. I don't, or uh, not silver, but uh, like iron. As long as it's done turn like gold or diamond or emerald or whatever, I guess we're fine. But we got an unbreaking three right there. We don't have another book though. If he gives me another book, <coughs> then hey, I'll, I'll gladly trade another one with you. Then of course we can go get rid of his lectern. We can go, God, man, this guy is a pain in the butthole. Oh, you know what? I'll trap you in another house if you're going to be this way. Man, oh, maybe I should make sure he I don't know, that's kind of savage to just <laughs> to actually get rid of his second bed inside of his second house. That'd be crazy. Man, I don't know. Maybe I'll build something around him right now. Like, he's not hes not going... I can't... If I got a boat, like the little paved pathways right here, we'd get stuck on those. We can't go up those, unfortunately, so don't want to do that. Oh, is he going to go inside of this build? Oh, where is he going? Where are you going? You going inside of here? Hold, hold it. There, there you go. You want to go inside there? Use your lectern? Yeah, he does need to use the lectern every. He, he needs to go. Oh, 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 there we go. We got him. Get rid of that garbage. <laughs> oh, all right. So if I wanted to trade with him again. Okay, that's his door. Uh, You know, I put buckets in there temporarily because I stole them anyway. So there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 another bed. Another, uh, another uh, book. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do another trade. Oh, I don't have enough emeralds. I'm gonna have to do the thing. We don't have a, we don't have a crafting table in here, so I have, I have to go borrow one real quick. Whoops. Yeah, let's go. Let's go make a bunch of heck of paper, just because that's why we have all the sugar cane in our inventory right now. <laughs> I do need to go. Let's go. Let's just go make a bunch of heck and paper. There we go. Golly, get that trash out of my inventory. Let's uh grab all that. And is that going to be a stack? Yep, that's a full stack right there. Okay. So we can get uh some emeralds out of that, which is good. We can do the same thing with this. Get rid of that one sugar cane. I don't need that garbage. And get rid of that one sugar sure cane again. And just keep on getting stacks and stacks of paper here. Or, you know, 60-something paper. Because it, it doesn't go up to a full stack, unfortunately. But getting tons of paper here. Yeah, this guy loves his paper. I'm like, he's a librarian. He's just going to combine all this paper together to get a bunch of heckin' books if he kills some cows or something. Or even hoglins. You can get leather from hoglins, too. But let me just continue to turn all the sugar cane into paper. And let's see how many uh, emeralds we can get from him. Because he will run out of that trade. Eventually, and we do not want to get because I think he's always going to have this trade, right? We don't want to let him level up or else I, I guess he's going to be stuck being a librarian villager. So don't want that to happen, you guys. And stack that up with the paper we already have. All right, nice. So we have a lot of can paper right now. Let's just go trade with him again to make sure we can get another uh, Unbreaking 3. That should be good. I don't think there's an Unbreaking 4 if I remember it. Maybe. I doubt it, though, because I've only ever seen him breaking three there, but... Uh, yeah, look at that. He's already, like, a little bit of a tick right there, so we do need to watch out for that. But let's trade with him here. There you go, some emeralds. Mmm, so I have... Okay, I just... I'm just going to trade with him twice. Boom. Boom. Oh, that got him a, lo a lot right there. I don't want to level him up, so let's do that. And let's do that. That shouldn't level him up. Okay, that's good. Let's get rid of the lectern. Is this going to work? Is he going to reset his, uh... So I'm breaking three right now. We have an... Uh, yeah, we have a... Spots in our inventory, so let's do this. Is he jobless? He's not- he, he hasn't turned into a jobless villager just yet. Does he lock in to his job before he even levels up? 
I don't know. I might have to wait. I'm like, I've already traded with him a few times there. Is this, was this a bad idea? Huh? It might have been a bad idea. I, I, oh man, I hate to have messed that up. Huh? But hey, at least we got some unbreaking threes out of that, right? So that's good. I'm going, I'm going to wait a little while though and see if he actually turns into a, a jobless villager. Because I was under the impression that they uh, could still like become jobless as long as you don't like level them up past novice maybe? Maybe I misunderstood that. Maybe trading with them in general is just like kind of locking it in with them. I don't know, because I think it wasn't in season one that one of our villagers like became jobless or something like that because I broke one of his blocks and I thought I'd trade with him. I don't know. Yeah, he, had, he already turned into a jobless guy by now whenever we uh, got rid of his lectern earlier, so I feel like I kind of hecked this up, you guys. Whoops. <laughs> Oh no! Well, hey, at least at least we have a pretty good source of umbra- And look at that, the, the hero of the village thing kind of ran out right there, and now we have to trade with him. 16 emeralds instead of 12. It's still one book, though. But hey, I'm like, if this guy is locked in to have- well, I guess I could continue to trade with him until he levels up and stuff and see if he- Maybe he has mending as like a later thing, maybe? I don't know. But I really feel like I kind of messed it up here, you guys. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to go around the Oigan map. I think we'll have a really fast horse. I'm going to go around the map. Try and find another village, and I guess try and do this all over again, right? Golly. Oh, random skeleton right there under the heckin' tree, surviving the- Oh! Surviving the, the- the hot sunlight! There you go, got rid of you. Yeah, I really feel like I messed it up. I'm probably getting comments saying you shouldn't have done that. Should've waited till you got mending and then trade with them. But uh, the Unbreaking 3 was so enticing, it really, it really captured me and, and made me say, Hey, you want me, don't you? And, uh, well, it's true, I, I did want it, and- Well, now I, I'm, I'm trapped with this one villager right here, so. You know what, I'm going to pause the recording, I'm going to wait a little bit of time. Aww. Off camera, wait, see if he- Because I got rid of his lectern there. See if he turns into a, a jobless villager, if he doesn't turn into a jobless villager, I guess he's always going to be this, uh, oh god. Oh, I thought something fell off the mountain, it's just a bee over there. I guess he's always going to be this librarian villager, which isn't necessarily bad, that like we can continue tree with him, level him up. Uh, we have a lot of paper to do that with, right? So we do that, no problem. You know what? I might even put some of the paper over here so we can easily tree with him and stuff. But I'm like, it's not necessarily a bad thing. He's got pretty good Unbreaking 3 enchantment right there. Like, if we ever want to give anything Unbreaking 3, like, it's pretty easy to get the heckin' enchantment right there. Just 16. Even without the uh, Hero of the Village, 16 emeralds right there, we can get that pretty easily from the heckin' paper. <laughs> so we can do that, no problem, but... I really feel like I messed it up right there, you guys, man. Let me just let me just pause though. Like I said, wait. I don't know how long. See, and you know what? Maybe in the meantime, while I'm waiting, maybe I'll try and like go around and and see if I can find another village. I doubt I will, because these villagers are usually pretty fucking scarce. So I might have to go like actually that. Maybe I'll try and figure out the uh, the uh, the Nether portal like predicament that we're in. Maybe I'll try and like measure the blocks between here to the other portal, divide that by eight, and then travel north in the Nether. Then build another portal in the nether and see where it spawns over here. Maybe I'll try and do that. That sounds like something I could do. In the meantime, while waiting for this guy to maybe become jobless, if he will become jobless. Oh, oh, wait. oh, yeah, he still got the glasses. I thought he was jobless right there. Whatever. Like I said, let me just pause the recording, do all that stuff, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Hopefully, I didn't heck this up. <laughs> oh.